Hey guys, happy Sunday. I wanted to hop on, it's a rainy, yucky day here in Northern Kentucky, cold, rainy. I'm not sure what the weather's like where you live. But I uh, wanted to hop on, I know when I'd asked a week or two ago if you guys would be interested in doing um, a demonstration with, uh, or a demo rather, with this uh, Bedhead Wave artist. A lot of you said yes. So I thought I'd hop on and just quickly show you how I've been styling my hair. I'm obviously not going anywhere today, but thought I'd just kind of show you how it works for me. Um, hi guys. It's a lot faster, I think, than actually curling all of my hair. So sorry this lighting is really weird. Hey Whitney. It is Elizabeth. I will put a link for you in just a minute. I wanna hurry up and show you how I've been using it and then some of the techniques I've been using and then I'll, I will shoot you a link. Um, so just like when I use the Revlon, sorry, this lighting is so crazy. Um, just like when I use the Revlon one step when I dry my hair, I do section it off. It's a lot faster that way. Um, so this is the bed head. I know a lot of you guys have it. It's just this three barrel uh, curler waver. Hold on. It actually locks, so you have to unlock it. And I watched a lot of videos on how to do this. This is just how I've been using it. So essentially you can curl either way. You can curl this way or this way. I don't think it makes a huge difference. I tend to do it this way. And I also have found that I have better, I like the waves better if I do it kind of like on an angle. So instead of, curl, like instead of crimping or waving it down, I kind of do it on an angle. So if you put your hair, again, you're just going to section it off, start at the root, and just press it down for a couple of seconds, few seconds, then go on to the next, and the next. You kind of get this kind of look. Can you guys see that? So nothing crazy, but it does, for me, I find that the older, like as I'm getting older, which is always fun, my hair tends to thin, it's kind of thinner than it used to be. It used to be really thick when I was younger. And for me, it gives me a lot of body and actually gives me a lot of fullness that I don't get normally. So again, I kind of do it on an angle. Start at the root, just hold the piece of hair. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys. And I think what I also like about this is that you don't have to be like very precise because um, it's just a waver. So then, you know, again, it's just, I, I do it a lot faster when I'm not talking to you. <laughs> but um, I usually do just three, three little crimps with each section. So again, it's pretty quick. Um, again, I use, I go down this way. You can do it this way too. It really does not make a difference. And you're just gonna take each section. So it's really rainy and cold here in Northern Kentucky. What's the weather like where you guys are today? You can see that's the result. Again, I kind of go on an angle, start at the root. I'd say I hold it probably like three, three or four seconds maybe. Um, with this waiver, there's also um, um, heat control. No, that's a good question Sarah's asking. So no, you can do, so it's high to low. Um, I usually start on high, but it doesn't tell you like temperature exactly, but I think it goes up to 400, I wanna say. I can't remember exactly. Whoops. And again, I don't know why, I always curl with the, the flat side out. Um, I don't know that it makes a huge difference. It's just my preference. Kathy, I'm in Cincinnati too, and it's so dreary and cold. We've all been napping at our house today. It's a good day for a nap. It's snowing in Michigan, oh my gosh. See that little crimp? And then again, take another section. I think start to finish when I do this and um, when I'm not talking to you, <laughs> I think start to finish has probably been like six or seven minutes, so it's really fast. I'm 
Mullenberg County, Kentucky. How far, Whitney, how far is that from um, Cincinnati? Okay, and so now we're gonna go on. So here's the thing that I do a little differently and I found, I saw this on, I don't know, an Instagram or TikTok, one of those. And I like, and I like the way this looks better. So I do save the top and I actually use a one inch on the top and I'll show you that. So I basically do the waver on all of my hair except the very top. Your daughter is five foot tall and her hair is two foot 10 inches long. Holy majoli. That's insane. That's a lot of hair. My three-year-old um, like just got hair this year. <laughs> my three-year-old daughter, both of my kids were born totally bald and they really didn't get hair until they were like three. So she's got the most gorgeous like curly, um, she's a little ginger. She has like strawberry blonde hair. So I don't even wanna mess with her curls cause they're so perfect. But I can't imagine having a daughter with that much hair, Whitney. That's crazy. Okay, you're three hours. Huh, that's so wild. And I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to link stuff, like, before I do a live. I'm still learning this live stuff. So I will put the links um, on this after this video ends because I do have some sales on this for you right now. But I know, um, I've been hearing about this waiver forever and I finally just got it probably a month or so ago and I really like it. I just feel like it's a lot faster than a curling iron. And let's face it, I mean, I really don't curl my hair that much anyway because I work from home, we're quarantined, <laughs> I don't really go anywhere, but um, this is fun. I think this will be a great gift for I feel like everybody tells me they need ideas for like their teen or tween. Um, my kids are a lot younger, but um, I think teens and tweens are kind of hard to buy for, you know, especially girls. They're just difficult in general. <laughs> so I think this would be an awesome gift for them if they don't already have it. I feel like this is like the hot, the hot uh, gadget right now. And I think the other thing to remember is like, again, there's, there's just no way to really mess this up. It's super easy. And you don't even have to um, do the ends if you don't want. You know, you could just do halfway or maybe maybe two thirds of the way down your hair. You don't have to do all of it if you don't want to. Okay, can you guys see this effect it's giving me? You have a ginger too, Brittany. Aren't they the sweetest? Although she does have a fiery little sassy attitude sometimes, which, you know, she kind of comes honest by. <laughs> okay, so this is the wave, okay? This is the waver. I just did a little demo on how I use it. I essentially just section off my hair. And then, so here's the top. Now with the top, I like to use my one inch iron. Um, I love the hot tools. I've been using hot tools forever. Hot tools does have the dial. It goes up to 430 and you can, you can uh, decide what heat you want it on. But what I do is I kind of go in and just do some sections with my one inch iron. I've actually seen some really cool videos recently about uh, different ways to use this. So I don't curl the very bottom. I like to leave it out. Um, but I've seen some new techniques about how to use this. So you basically roll it up and then go underneath. I'm right-handed, so that's a little difficult. And then bring it out, which is fun. Okay, and then same thing on this side. 
I'm just gonna do, I probably do about eight to 10 of these to make it a look a little bit more polished. It's just my preference, how I, I like it to look. You could definitely use the waver at the top of your hair too. I think it looks really nice. Um, but it's just how you wanna do it. But I have, I have actually, um, both of these are on sale right now, so I thought it was a good time to hop on, kind of show you how to do it. And I usually do a curl here at the top. How can I message you where to find deals to share? You can just message my inbox. So anytime you guys find anything, I always appreciate you sending me deals that you find because there's you know over 50,000 of you now and there's one of me and I work a lot and I work um, too much if I'm totally honest and I am always scouring and looking for good deals and price comparing. So if you ever find something that I haven't seen yet, please, please, please. I love when you guys send me deals. Okay, so this is essentially it. Um, I know I've told you guys about this before. Well, here's a few a few products that I use. So I love I've been using this Paul Mitchell um, skinny serum, I swear, for like 12 years, and I love it. I just use the smallest bit. I mean, can you guys see that? Sorry. I use a tiny, tiny bit, and of course my phone's on the fritz. Um, and I really just put it kind of toward the end the ends of my hair so that it doesn't look frizzy because my hair can tend to get a little bit frizzy. Um, yeah, you can actually just email me. It's kimsteelsanddeals at yahoo.com or you can message me um, Facebook on Facebook Messenger. And then I found this this year. I'm totally obsessed with it. I know I've told you guys about it before, but it's the Sexy Hair Texture Surfer Girl. Um, it just is a texturizer. It's awesome. It kind of acts like a texturizer and a dry shampoo. Um, but I will put some of this like in the roots of my hair. First of all, it smells like you're on some kind of beach vacation, so I love that. But I, I was telling you guys before, I, I feel like as I'm getting older, my hair is just kind of getting thinner. So I like this waver because it really gives me a lot of texture that I just don't naturally have, otherwise my hair is just really flat. Um, and then paired with this texturizer spray, I feel like va va boom, like I love, love, love the effect that it gives me. And like you can see, I mean, I kind of leave the ends undone. Um, but this is just the routine I've been doing. Obviously it took me a lot longer to do it since I'm doing a demo and kind of showing you and explaining to you what I'm doing. Um, but really start to finish when I'm not chatting with you guys. It's like six, seven minutes. It's super fast. I feel like it gives me a lot of volume and I don't have to do like curl, you know, curl my entire hair. So it's kind of the combination again of the bedhead waver that's currently on sale. I'm gonna put a link for you. And then I've been using my one inch hot, hot tool